Hi, I'm Emily Zimmerman, and I'm the curator for So to Speak, which is uh, on view now at Brick Rotunda Gallery, and that was organized in conjunction with the Lars Liedis Emerging Curator Fellowship. So to Speak brings together the work of four artists, Fiona Banner, Mindy McDaniel, Club Sway, and Hollis Friend, all of whom translate visual imagery in two words. The piece behind me is Fiona Banner's Smoky Mead, which comes from her performance mood series, in which she live paints a nude model, uh, drawing on the history of academic portraiture. Here you have a verbal description of the model standing in front of Fiona Banner. Um, and the description includes a lot of momentary flashes of details. Uh, that indicate the live presence of the model. Fiona Banner is one of the young British artists, and the performance mood series draws on her previous war films, um, in which she took films such as Apocalypse Now and translated them into words. Melinda McDaniel's movie lines takes the short one-line descriptions from cable viewing channels and translates them to uh, works on paper. Uh, these statements, which are under 15 words, point to absurdist economies and paraphrasing uh, and present-day attention spans. They also point to the anonymous authors of these short lines um, that are never accredited, uh, yet exhibit a great deal of wit in their craft. Club's Way is an Austrian video collective whose piece in So to Speak is Black and White, the Backside of Images. The piece consists of an interview with archivist Rosemary Neef, who talks about the use of photographs as historical documents. The video image in the interview is, is blacked out, and poignant statements such as the image is silenced are occasionally written over uh, her narrative. Black and White, the backside of the image, is the most political piece in So to Speak. It deals with the use of images of the Holocaust um, and their tendency to be more iconic than documentary. The fourth piece in So to Speak is Hollis Frampton's Poetic Justice, which is a 31-minute film in which Hollis Frampton created describing a film, uh, but all of the action takes place in the, the viewer's imagination. In the piece, he was trying to create a cinema of the mind. Um, he wanted the imprecision of words rather than the precise nature of the image. Um, the, the film itself consists of over 200 of these sheets of paper divided into four tableaux. And interspersed in the later tableau are scenes and then photographs of those scenes. So he's reflecting on a, the, the documentation 